tired of waking up with aches and pains due to severe tennis elbow? Do you feel like the tennis string you're using in your rackets might as well double as weed whacker wire? Have you reached your wit's end with all these gimmicks and tricks that leave you looking like a clown? Hi, it's the California Condor bringing you the world's most soft and supple string, Solinko Hyper G Saw. Soft enough for cute, cuddly kids to snuggle on. Plush enough to substitute that regular old abrasive toilet paper. And even cushioned enough to free fall this egg onto it without it cracking. You said that was... I'm gonna go Humpty Dumpty on your ass! Alright Ben, uh, I'm gonna let you kick it off. Solinko Hyper-G, you fell head over heels in love with just the regular Hyper-G. Mm -hmm. Now you have it permanently, uh, that's a strong word, strung up in your Dunlop SX. What the heck, man? I just don't see any reason to switch. Um, you know, I've tried out a handful of strings over the last year, and that's the first one that I've done where I was just like, oh, I like this. Uh, I like the way it pops. It just feels good. The pop? Yeah, it's a it. I would say it feels muted. It doesn't feel like twangy, and it just like, I don't know, it just feels like good control, as they say in the tennis world. If I didn't know him any better, I would uh, think that you're just in love with the look. Aesthetics is a huge part in our tennis gear, and it combines very nicely with that lime green on the rack itself. It does look rather stunning. <laughs> it doesn't. Um, can't complain about that. No, can't wait. Uh, all right, so how does it compare to, to Hyper-G Soft? Um, again, you said it's it's nice control, it's crisp, which I agree with, the regular Hyper-G. The Soft? Um, honestly, no difference. We're just mincing hairs here. There's, <laughs> there's nothing distinctly different to me. They're basically the same string. Um, I, I kind of agree with that, but I do think it, it does live up to the name of, of being soft. It is a bit more plush um, and a bit more arm friendly, but as far as the drastic difference. Um, like, what does that mean? Like, I don't understand how it feels softer. Like, so you're, you're talking about how the Hyper-G is very crisp. There's yeah. a nice pop. This has that, but to a, a lesser degree. Like, okay. It is hard to put into words without repeating the same ones. But it is more a more a plush feeling. Mm. Um, I guess the, the crispness yeah. that we talk about is is lessened. Okay. But but there's still um, some good control, and it's not like it's mushy gushy. It's, it's yeah. a pleasant soft. Yeah. Um, so if 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 the Lingo Hyper G is up your alley, but you do want a little bit more arm friendly ah. string in the racket. This does seem to do uh, live up to that soft name, so I, I can recommend. And if you can only get your hands on the original, that's just fine too. Yeah, because the original is a is quite a good string as well. Again, with that that crisp, that pop. I mean, like I said, we're repeating the same words, but I feel like I'm on tour when the music is. <laughs> so, um, but if you had to pick between the two, which would you sign up for? Whichever's cheaper. Whichever's cheaper. I think they're about the. The same price. Then I'd go with the regular. It is hard to say because there's so many variables that affect the playability. It's not just the string. You have the racket, the head size, the beam width, the string pattern, the tension of the string. So all these variables compounded, it's tough to decide what it actually boils down to the string itself. But um, regardless, two thumbs up for either string. And again, it does live up to that soft name. Good job, Solinko. You get the trash bin to have a stamp of approval. And that does not come by easily. Uh, so Ben, remarkably, we forgot to cover one of the most important aspects of string reviews, and that is spin potential. Um, I know you don't claim to be a string guru by any means, but you have tried a few in your time. How does Solinko Hyper-G uh, perform in this department? Well, I have a very top spin heavy forehand, and the Solinko Hyper-G definitely aids in producing that. Um, I get a nice loopy forehand with it. It's got good bite, so it really grips onto the ball and I can just rip over it. Um, so the spin potential was definitely there and I would say it's high for that string. Yeah, I agree. I mean, that's <laughs> the main selling point now, isn't it? Being that it's a shaped 
uh, co-poly. And I would also agree with you about your forehand. Uh, what grip do you use? I use a semi-western. No, no, I, I use a full western. Yeah, this guy's just a freak. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, yeah, really good spin potential. And as for the soft, um, I think it goes down a little bit just because we talked about it. It's a little yeah. bit more cushioned. And so that it has this ball pocketing effect where the ball sinks into the string bed for a little longer um, rather than being uh, more, uh, I guess, what do you want to call it, rigid or grippy, as you yeah. said, yeah. To, to send it with some top spin over the net. But um, with all that said, that wraps it up. Later. Pick up that phone right now and call while this amazing deal lasts. We are not in stores. We are not in Target. We are definitely not in Big Lots and not at Wally World. Call us right now and we may send you a second order entirely for free. Keyword, may. We only accept cash. Do not call for order inquiries. We will not pick up. And remember, at Trashbin Tennis, it's all about the tennis trash we've been.